signing of the tripartite free trade area agreement here in Lusaka is indeed a momentous occasion, signaling the spirit to make the TFTA a reality lives on. We thank Zambia for this reminder in case there was any doubt that we will have this grand project implemented in the very near future. As you are all aware, the tripartite heads of state and government launched the TFTA and signed the agreement exactly a year ago in 10th of June in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. By all accounts, it had been expected that outstanding issues for negotiation would have been finalized by now. However, we all know the challenges of trade negotiations. And on one hand, we may have very clear political directives from our supreme policy to conclude and deliver the results. But on the other hand, we have to grapple with the technical nature of a complex negotiation process. The outstanding issues that are fundamental for a free trade area are tariff liberalization, rules of origin, and the signing and ratification of the TFTA agreement to make it operational. In some areas, there, are, there has been progress, albeit still un, inadequate. Nonetheless, tripartite member states have agreed to use interim arrangements whilst further work continues as part of the built-in agenda. In some areas, the negotiations have still to reach a reasonable level of progress, particularly on tariff liberalization. <coughs> Fortunately, many member states recognize that even with such a state of negotiations, they can take certain measures to reaffirm their commitment to the tripartite free trade area. The signing of TFTA agreement for which we are gathered here today to bear witness is one of is one such important step. The Tripartite Council of Ministers still will be meeting in August 2016 in order to discuss progress that far and take decisions on the way forward. Tripartite member states are urged to sign and ratify the TFTA agreement. Zambia signing the TFTA agreement is therefore an important signal to other tripartite member states to follow suit. Zambia will be the 17th country to sign, bringing the number of signatories to well over 60% of the tripartite membership. And for us as Zambia to be signing today, I'm excited because it, I think it gives our business community an excellent opportunity to be able to tap into this 625 million people, this 1.3 million uh, GDP. If I can share with you the countries that have signed up already, and this is um, Angola, Burundi, Comoros, DRC, Djibouti, Egypt, Your Excellency, Kenya, Malawi, Namibia, Rwanda, Seychelles, Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda and Zimbabwe. And I really want to congratulate Swaziland for signing the agreement five days after the launch uh, of the uh, uh, Tripartite Free Trade Area and bringing the total number of countries to 16. And today, Zambia joins the 16 and we become 17th in the signing <laughs> of this agreement. And it is my wish, and it's a fervent wish, the next steps to conclude the negotiations on market access, rules of origin, and ratification to effect the implementation uh, of the agreement. I hope that it will happen sooner rather than later. And it is my honor to sign on behalf of the government <coughs> of the Republic of Zambia, the tripartite free trade area agreement in the four official languages of the tripartite.